morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. CC here, uh, Chris from New York, Westchester County. It's uh, January 23rd, 2018, and um, I want to thank you for, for subbing. I want to thank you for uh, for watching my videos and, and just you know allowing me in your life for a short period of time. Uh, since you're here, and obviously if you're here, you're open to other suggestions, plausible possibilities of uh, the flat plane that we live on here, what it is exactly, and what other possibilities could it lead to, you know? As I said before, there's definitely something beyond Flat Earth. They're definitely hiding something beyond Flat Earth. And we're not sure what it is, whether it being land or in a simulation that we're in. Uh, I'm going to get right into the chapter uh, two uh, in this class. And uh, I, I want to talk about the hum human anatomy, uh, which is very complicated. And I've done some research of my own, um, how, how we have been made and how everything is so perfect. And... Don't think we came from the monkeys. I, I got some news for you. We, we we did not. There might be a striking resemblance between us, but I think that's just there to. to I don't know. I, I I don't know why the monkeys exist and, and why they're almost exactly like us. You know, it really makes no sense at all to me. But you know, hey, look, you can come up with your own ideas on that. But we definitely did not evolve from them. I can guarantee you that. We are the most complicated species on this plane, and uh, we always will be. Nothing else is going to evolve because evolution is bullshit, at least the evolution that we've been told. Uh, the human anatomy is absolutely amazing. I, it's, it's just incredible, right? you know, how, how females can make babies and, and how just walking around and, and the inside of our organs and, and everything. Now, I want you to think of a computer simulation. Genes are what make us up. Uh, it, it's going to tell you what your hair color is. It's going to tell you if, if you, you're going to have health problems later in life. It's, it's, it, it, it make, it's your genetic compound of, of your body. If you really tear apart a gene and you look it up, it really does have a striking resemblance to, to a computer program itself. And why wouldn't it be? It would make sense. I mean, you know, a computer programmer is going to work on, on one specific part of your body, and, and that is what makes your body up. And he would have to, or she, or it, or whomever it is, would have to start off there. And it really does have a striking resemblance with computer programs. Um, it doesn't seem like it could be a natural thing. You know, and that, that, that's why it, it really seems like a simulation is surrounding us here. Now remember, I, I, I don't know anything, you know, and I, I don't know anything about this stuff. I'm, I'm putting this out on the table, I'm just giving you my research on it, and I'm keeping you open-minded that this model that they've been telling us that we live in is, is not true. Um, it's too simple, you know. And it really has a resemblance with, uh, with a computer program. Um, and, and you have to think about it, you know. I mean, the human anatomy is just incredible. We are the most complicated species out there. I mean, the, the, the medical profession hasn't even been able to figure it out. They don't even know what 90% of our brain actually does, what the functions are of it. You know, and these people are going to school for 10, 15 years, spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on it. And that's why I believe the medical profession is a bunch of horse shit, as far as I'm concerned. Because they know nothing. They're, they're almost they should be considered janitors. You know, they're good to cleaning out arteries and taking x-rays and giving us medication. But when it comes down to <laughs> the most complicated processes of, of our body, they don't know shit. And it doesn't seem like they'll ever know anything because they're so indoctrinated. You know, the human spinal cord has so many connections on it. You know, it it's, it's just seems like it's too complicated for nature to have, to have made that up. I, it just doesn't, it, it resembles, that also resembles a computer pro program too, you know? I mean, everything around us really does seem that way, you know? But 
again, this is just ideas that I'm throwing out there for you to think about. Other than just thinking about that we live on this flat earth and that we live in a, you know, in a dome, which quite possibly could be because a computer simulator would have to have this as an enclosed system, whether it, it's a simulation or not, you know, uh, it would have to be enclosed either way. And when I say simulation, you know, don't think I'm, uh, I don't think of Pac-Man and, and Donkey Kong games, you know, and, and Zero Zero Ones. That's the way we look at computer programs. It could be a whole lot different than that. I mean, because we're real. I mean, we're organic material, obviously. Um, you know, they could be working, or him, or her, or it could be working on a totally different level with programs. You know, they might have been able to figure something out other than making something appear out of nothing, is, is my point. You know, that this is probably all absolutely real that's around us. But yet, it still could be a simulation, okay? And, and it, it's, it's, a, it's a platform we'll never understand, obviously. Um, and there's no point to. There's just a point for me to make you aware of it. And that's the best way. And that's why I'm, I've, I've come up with these chapters. And I, I really think that, you know, again, you should keep an open mind with it. Um, all right, so think about the genes. You know, if you have some time, do a little research too on it and, and take a look at it. Mimic yourself as a computer programmer who's going to make something and see how bizarre, you know, it, it seems that it, it, a gene really has a striking resemblance of, of a computer program, you know, um, in terms of the way we look at it. And it's, it's, it's bizarre. So just, just take a look at that. Uh, leave a comment. Feel free. Uh, I'm going to go into chapter uh, three in, in the next couple of days. I have a little bit more research to do. Um, but, uh, yeah, okay. All right, I've said most of the things I wanted to say.